Bonnie, happy Tuesday! I am back on this very windy, rainy day. The wind is blowing so hard. I was driving home. I think a stick hit my car or something because I heard a big thud. I didn't notice any damage, but um, there's like sticks all over my yard. Branches have fallen, so be careful out there. I know there's a lot of wild weather everywhere. So today, um, oh my gosh, you guys. I want to do a video about the new design elements in the spring collection because it's so pretty. I'm going to be doing that video soon. Um, but the kind of weird thing now is none of the candles are on sale. None of the new candles. Uh, let me grab one of my newer candles. In these collections, um, they're not on sale, which is so hard because no one wants to pay $26 for a candle. I think we're going to have to wait a little while, at least until semi-annual sale is over. Um, we might have to wait until like Monday for a candle sale. I don't know. That kind of stinks. So in the meantime, I got an idea. So I know a lot of people are excited about the new Sweetheart Cherry collection that's rolling out for Valentine's Day. Also includes, oops, um, the strawberry pound cake and the new packaging. So a lot of people are probably thinking about Valentine's Day. Bath & Body Works is obviously starting to promote Valentine's Day in a really big way. But if you're on a budget because you spent a lot at Christmas, kind of like I did, um, how do you do Valentine's Day on a budget? Like if you're gifting some stuff or maybe you want to pick up a couple of things for yourself. I know I like to create like a little, um, you know, pink, white, and red product box just to be festive for Valentine's Day. Here's how you can do it using products that are currently 75% off. It's funny. I went on Bath & Body Works and I'm looking at all of the 75% off stuff and I'm like, you know what? This stuff would make amazing Valentine's Day gifts. You could do a little box. So here's what I recommend doing. I would pick um, from these sets. Lovely Dreamer. This is a wonderful spring scent. This is Fluffy Musk, Clean Woods, White Iris, and Fresh Bergamot. It's not super strong in my opinion. I'd say this is on the lighter side, uh, but it has a really nice um, light perfumey scent. So there's Lovely Dreamer. Um, there is Pink Suede from last year. This is Blush Berries, Velvet Peonies, and Soft Cotton. I think this actually looks like it could be Valentine's Day. Maybe a little, a little bit New Year's, but it does look pretty in the pink. So we've got this one. I don't love, love this one, but um, it's not bad. That cotton note's a little strange, by the way. It's so funny. I did not do anything to my hair today. My hair for winter is just getting bigger every day. <laughs> one of these days I'm going to straighten it. I feel like my hair is just growing outward. <laughs> the dry air. Among the Clouds. If you can find Among the Clouds on sale, I think they had the shapeable soap as part of the sale. This is the Wild Berry Skies Whipped Vanilla Clouds. This is a great Valentine's Day uh, scent. We have Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. It's funny. I don't love this packaging. You guys know that. But I think it looks kind of pretty if you pair it up with another um, like Bath & Body Works pink um, scent. It kind of looks a little Valentine's Day. Um, Prismatic Stars. This is another one that you can kind of pair up. Looks a little Valentine's Day-ish. And then we have, um, I grabbed a couple of these, Carried Away. Perfect for Valentine's Day. It even like carried away is kind of like a Valentine's Day <laughs> message. So this one is really good. Uh, this is Lush Raspberries, Juicy Pear Nectar, White Jasmine, and Whipped Vanilla. This would look great in the Valentine's Day collection. And then um, you could even throw a Twisted Peppermint in there because that's on sale, 75% off. Twisted Peppermint to me doesn't scream Christmas. This looks super pretty for Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you a trick in a minute. Okay. Um, cozy Vanilla Bourbon. That's the other one that I was talking about. Uh, Fresh Vanilla Blossoms, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. And then, um, oh, Ballet Nights. This would work for Valentine's Day too. So, oh, and this is Pink Suede. So if you have App Rewards, okay, here's the trick. Use your App Rewards on 
the new Sweetheart Cherry. So this is absolutely gorgeous. It smells amazing. This is the Wild Cherry Crushed Pistachio. I can sing never say that. Crushed, crushed Pistachio. Um, and with vanilla. Total Gourmand scent. It's wonderful. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love I just can't get enough of this one. I gotta say. So use your app rewards from Christmas and get this. Yeah. And then pair it up with some of these other ones in a little gift basket. So watch this. Twisted Peppermint and Sweetheart Cherry look super pretty together with the pinks. Um... Fresh Vanilla Blossoms looks super cute if you pair these up together. This would make a great gift, and you're saving, like, a ton of money. Um, Pink Suede and Sweetheart Cherry kind of look like they belong together. So I would pair a couple of these up, create a gift basket, and then, like I said, if you put one item from the Sweetheart Cherry... That brings your Valentine's Day together. If you want to do a candle in your little Valentine's Day basket, use, I talked about this before, use the um, the hot pink cocoa. This to me screams Valentine's Day. It smells like Valentine's Day. It is um, sweet ruby chocolate, whipped vanilla cream, and raspberry sprinkles. To me, this is like full on Valentine's Day. It's got the pink, it's got the white. And it smells like Valentine's Day. So there are ways to do Valentine's Day on a budget. Go to Dollar Tree, get one of those like little Valentine's Day gift baskets. I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do this. Put a little tissue paper in there. Put a couple of these products in. And um, you literally can do a little Valentine's Day gift um, for under $5 probably. Actually, with the packaging from Dollar Tree, I'm going to do the math. If you get one of these free with your app rewards, and then you get a shower gel. What's the shower gel running now? I think it's like uh, $4.23. So there's your 4 bucks. And then if you spend $3 at Dollar Tree, like on a basket, some tissue paper, and a card or something, that's $7.23 for a really cute high-end Valentine's Day gift um, for a friend, your mom, aunts, anyone. It's just, a, it's just a fun way of doing Valentine's Day if you want to spend under $10. So I thought I'd kind of point that out. I like to do these um, kind of fun budgeting videos as we move into January. So I'm going to talk about these a little bit more. Um, again, not a lot going on today as far as the sale, nothing has actually gone down, I don't think. Let me see. I'm sorting low to high. Um, they're really moving out semi-annual. It's going to be over, I think, in like five days. I think it ends on Sunday. So Monday, we will probably see buy three, get three on body care, and then we'll probably see some sort of candle sale moving in. So anyway, ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, look what else I got. I went to the grocery store today. I'm so bad. Uh, they have Friends Conversation Hearts. I love these so much. I actually started eating these. Uh, they're so cute. This one says, uh, I know they've got lobster on a break. Um, oh my God. Look what else I got, too. I'm so bad. I got the um, Valentine's Day gummy bears. These are, what are these? These are raspberry and pineapple. They're so good. You know me and sugar. Um, you're supposed to gift this to somebody. I gifted it. I gifted it to myself. That's another idea. Put one of these or one of these. It's going to cost you more than $10. These are expensive. These are like $4.50 or something. Put these in your little gift basket, and you're going to have a friend for life. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will be back later. Bye-bye. I'm going to eat my gummy bear.